mostly everything here is listening. You'll, you'll hear something before you see it. After 34 years, you know every sound. If something went click and it goes clock, we want to know why it went clock. I've never been on this ride in my life. I never rode it. I climb it. I used to climb it. I don't do that no more. But I covered every inch of this ride. Never took a ride. I just don't like drops. Growing up in Coney Island was um, a great experience. My backyard was an amusement park from May to September. We were up here on Surf Avenue. We knew everybody that owned the concessions, owned the rides, and uh, if we wanted to get on them for nothing, we did. Because, you know, it was my father's friend, my mother's friend, and uh, it was a, a great neighborhood. Something you'll never see again. I, I started uh, uh, as an electrician working for a Capital Electric, who used to do all the work for Astroland. And before you know it, I was running rides, and I, I, I became a, a ride man. <laughs> the owner of Astroland had another little park on Stowell Avenue, where he paid me just to hang out there for maintenance. He says, I need you to go to the Cyclone for two weeks to help them get it restored and open for the 4th of July of 1975. I came for two weeks and I never left. We have two 100 horsepower motors. One is a backup and that brings the car. We, we let the car off, it gets caught on the chain. The chain brings it to the top of the hill, releases it, and the rest of the way is gravity. At its fastest, maybe 52, 53 miles an hour. But in such a small area, this, that's fast. I have a good crew of mechanics, and I have a good floor crew that work on the ride. And I just, my responsibility is to see that they stay good. They check with me every day. They give me the list of what they've done as far as inspecting the track, what they found, what they fixed. If they reach, come to a, a dead end where they don't know what to do, I, I, I figure out what has to be done. Everybody comes to Coney Island to have a good time. They come to the Cyclone, they want to be whipped around. We're going to give it to them, but I don't want to see nobody walk away hurt. When you're going on the ride, it's fun, it's exciting. But these guys, they put in a lot of hours. At the end of the night, they're dragging their butts. <laughs> but that's what this amusement business is. There's no such thing as come put in an eight hour day and go home. If you want that kind of day, you gotta go work for Disney. But as far as Coney Island and other areas like Coney Island, you come in, you're there to closing. It's always been that way, always been that way. It was condemned, it was rotten. It's not rotten now, not condemned. <laughs> it's something to be proud of, yeah. I kept something alive. Well, if and when I'm gone from here, I just hope whoever comes in has the same feeling about keeping it going. <laughs>